In this example here, you'll notice that multiple colors can not only bring texture, like this bark on this tree, but can also help with shading for shadows and a little dimension in uh, things like foliage. One of the things to think about with using multiple colored pencils together is to have a dark, a mid, and a light color so that your range varies as you're moving through blending one to the other. And you'll notice in this example here, they're all green, but this one is different colors this way, and yet it still all works. In this example here, we're using three different colors, one in the red, one in the purple, and one in a very light purple, it's a lavender type color, to create a blending of three different pencils. And I'm going to show you some tips on how to move these three colors so that you end up with more of a seamless blending rather than a line that goes straight across. One of the things to think about when you're beginning to move color onto a page is that you want to always start with very light layers. I like to do my layers in small little circles or longer ovals. What that does is allows my color to overlap without creating a very strong line. And I like to do them in very light layers. That way I'm not putting too much pressure on that part of the paper that actually grips the pigment. That's called the tooth of the paper. When I'm down here in this little divot, I can put a little bit more pressure down here. As I move up to the lighter areas where I'm going to be adding my next color, I'm doing very light pressure. And here I'm doing just these little ovals so they can begin to overlap with each other. I'm not so much worried about coloring all of the white spaces at this point because I've got a lot of layers that I'm about to put down. I'm going to go to my second color and I'm going to do very light layers, little ovals, beginning to overlap my purple layer and my red layer together. And coloring takes time. You want to not necessarily rush the process, otherwise you end up with a stronger line and you kind of have a hard time maybe getting past that. But if you have the patience to just be able to do some of those soft little layers and let them build themselves on top of each other, you'll end up with a nice vignette. I'm going to move to my third color. Do little circles. Begin to move it down, fill in this space. Now I'm going to begin to very lightly overlap, I'm doing longer ovals. I'm also going to rotate my pencil, meaning that I literally rotate my pencil so that the point stays sharper longer. This is my base layer, and I'm going to repeat this process multiple times until it ends up with a very seamless blend from layer to layer. Now that I have some of my established layers, I can begin to vary my pressure and begin to put more pressure in those areas that I know that I want the color to intensify in those layers only. For instance, down here I can now begin to put some deeper pressure, but I'm still going to lighten up as I begin to move into my areas where the purple and the red overlap so I can still allow them to move together. Color pencil is a slow medium. It's not a real fast medium. So for the sake of time, I'm speeding up the video so that you can see the process. But I definitely can put more pressure as I'm down at the base. Rotate my pencil. And here I'm adding a little bit more pressure because I can bring in a little bit more of that intense purple color but I still want to have a nice blended effect, so I'm going to go a little bit lighter as I move into the red. And just let that build. And a little bit lighter as I move into this very light lavender. Now here I'm going to do something a little bit different. Here I am asking this very light colored pencil to begin to move and blend this purple. It's a blending technique that not everyone knows about, but you can use these lighter colors to help move and blend these, these other layers together so that they begin to move with a little bit more of a seamless look. Maintaining a sharp pencil is really the best way to create good coverage and consistency to your coloring. It really allows those pigments of your pencil to get into the grooves of the paper, to the tooth of the paper, so you always want to make sure that your pencil is sharp. There, now you've seen an example of how to blend multiple pencils together. Now it's your turn. Find your style. Mm -hmm.